Hi, Cindy. Welcome to my home. Hi, Christine. Thank you. How did you know it was me? Well, you know how I know. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cindy Merritt, and I'm your local real estate partner. And just like you, I live, work, and play in the Richmond, Virginia area and all around our wonderful surrounding counties. So it's 2019, and you know we've been doing all kinds of fun things for to start the new year, so I thought it would be a fabulous idea to find out what my 2019 is going to look like. So this is Christine Whitehead and she is a psychic medium. Yes. Yes. And so we're going to have a reading and we're going to talk about all kinds of interesting things. So Christine, first let me ask you, uh, how did you get into this? Has this been a lifelong thing for you? It really hasn't. That's that's the joy I have in telling people, you can do this. We all have this. Um, I was about 37 or 38, mm -hmm. and uh, I was going through a separation, and uh, I was just, it was suggested to me to just check out things I enjoyed. I said, I don't like a happy hour. I just don't like it. Mm -hmm. And so it was suggested, and so I went down. My mother had a reading, and she told me about it. And uh, it was very accurate, and I go, oh, that's interesting. Uh -huh. And I checked her out, and that was it. After that, I was sold because she was very accurate, and she was also helpful. That's important. That's important. So you said we all have this intuitiveness within us. I believe it's part of our senses. Okay. Right. You know, you've, you've heard it referred to as the sixth sense. It's very important to, for people to understand that this is not a phenomena and it's not a new age. Mm -hmm. That this is just something that is God given and if you try to develop it and you have an awareness of it, um, it's such a blessing. Now, you've also written a book. Yes. Tell me about the book that you've written. I love this book uh -huh. and it's not being braggadocious. Uh -huh. um, it's based on the Wizard of Oz and I've always liked the Wizard of Oz and I've always sat down with my kids and watched it. Mm -hmm. And then one day in doing readings for people I'd say, you're like Dorothy. You need to surrender Dorothy. Oh. Or I'd say, you're like the Tin Man. And I couldn't figure out why I was having reference to that. Mm -hmm. And then I was complaining a little bit of my own to a friend and she happened to say, well, we're not in Kansas anymore, Christine. Oh. So it's like, there is something There's going something on. There's something there, okay. And so in meditation, I was told, if I were to look closely at this film, then I would see some sacred mysteries in them. Okay. And I really did. What is the book called? It's The Wondrous Wisdom of Oz. The Wondrous Wisdom of Oz. Amazon carries it. Okay. And uh, I do have some at the Aquarian Bookstore. Well, that's very cool. Can we go ahead and do a reading for me then? I would love that. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different for you. Okay. Normally, I just start out with a general reading. Mm -hmm. But since you want to know about the year, mm -hmm. I'm going to do like a little um, astrology spread. Okay. And it'll take up 12 months. Okay. And we'll see where we go from that. Okay. This is the greatest card. Well, not the greatest card. I take it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of them because uh -huh. it is supreme achievement. Oh, well, like that. Okay. Uh, this is so funny. I read for Hootie and the Blowfish. You did? Years ago. Wow. And um, Jewish mother. But they got that card, uh -huh. and they got some other cards, and I said, you guys are going to go big, and he was like, yeah, great. Ah, and they did. So I call this the Hootie card. This is the Hootie card. So I got the Hootie card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She, she got the Hootie card, All right. and I, that is, it's the last card. They're major arcana, and it's 20 some of those. And then there's the regular deck, and it's 78. This is the last card of the Major Arcana. And the Major Arcana is the spiritual part 
of your reading and the minors, which are the, these lower cards, are like, um, they're like everyday stuff. Okay. The fact that you ended up with two major arcanas, I think this is going to be a great year for you. Wonderful! <laughs> so 2019 is a good year for me. I yes. love that. Oh, yeah. Well, this, this is really very interesting. Now, how does this align with someone who uh, actually has a religious faith? Because some religious faiths look at this kind of thing and go, ooh, this is, you know. They do. Yeah, so how does this actually align with that? Well, for me personally, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've done some reading on the cards, like their history and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I love what they stand for because they go way back in time. And a lot of cultures claim that. Okay. I have some Italian heritage. I also have Native American heritage. Mm -hmm. And the way I reconcile that is there's, they call it New Age, and it's not New Age. It goes back thousands of years. Okay. Like, they would do it after dinner, mm -hmm. and that was their form of communication with one another. Where I think the spirituality ties in for me, and that's for me personally, mm -hmm. it's not for everyone, mm -hmm. but I got involved in the Native American teachings, and I tell people uh, that frown upon this, and I have been verbally attacked for it in public, mm -hmm. and even sitting on the beach, and uh, people, I just feel like if they don't understand something, they fear it. I pray before I do this. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a self-development thing for me. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that I wish is that, you know, there, the judgment wouldn't be so harsh as to being called a child of darkness or something. Right, like yeah, exactly, exactly. That I wish that if they don't understand something, mm -hmm. that they just learn about it before they form a judgment right. on it. Because honestly, she's a very nice person. <laughs> All right, so if any of you out there would like to have a reading or your pets read or your children read, uh, anything like that, we're going to put a link to uh, be able to get a hold of Christine. Come on over, make yourself at home, and you'll be really, really glad you did. Thank you. Thanks. I enjoyed it. <laughs>